Biden inspects U.S.-Mexico border in face of GOP criticism. El Paso, Texas, AP, President Joe Biden walked a muddy stretch of the U.S.-Mexico border and inspected a busy port of entry Sunday on his first trip to the region after two years in office, a visit shadowed by the fraught politics of immigration as Republicans blamed him for record numbers of migrants crossing into the country. his first stop, the president observed the border officer and El Paso demonstrated how they search vehicles for drugs, money, and other contraband. Next, he traveled to a dusty street with a burning building and walked along a middle border fence that separated the U.S. city from three bad waters. His last stop was the El Paso County Market Service Center, but there were no migrants. to El Paso was highly controlled. He encountered no migrants except when his motorcade drove alongside the border and about a dozen were visible from the sea dad far outside. His visit did not include time at the border patrol station, where migrants who cross illegally are arrested and held before their release. He delivered no public remarks. The visit seemed designed to showcase the smooth operation to process legal migrants, new outsmuggled countries, and to move to those who have entered the region, creating a counter narrative to Republicans' claims of a crisis situation occurring in open borders. But his visit was likely to be very difficult for the team both sides, including immigrant advocates who accused him of establishing cruel policy. Not unlike those of his hardline predecessor, Donald Trump. In a sign of the deep tensions over immigration, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, handed Biden a letter as soon as he touched down in the state that said the chaos at the border was a direct result of the president's failure to enforce federal law. Biden later took the letter out of his jacket pocket during his tour, telling reporters, I haven't read it yet. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy dismissed Biden's visit as a photo op, saying on Twitter that the Republican majority would hold the administration accountable for creating the most border crisis in American history. El Paso County Judge on another Russian Biden figure, but set a clear goal and allowed him to prevent the president from seeing how large the group of new clients have been. He didn't get to see the real physical man, said Simon Miller, who was in the local delegation that he was at. It was good that he was here. It's a first step. But we still need to do more and have more time with him. Elsewhere in El Paso where Biden did not visit, hundreds of migrants were gathered Sunday outside the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, where they had been sleeping outdoors and receiving three meals a day from faith groups and other humanitarian organizations. The migrants included several pregnant women, including Carla Simons, 26, 8 months along. She was traveling in a small group that included her two year old son, Joshua. Simons left her three other children back home in Venezuela with her mother. I would ask President Biden to help me with a commission or something so we can work and continue, she said.
In Venezuela, they kill us, they torture us, we can't talk bad about the government. We are worse off than Cuba. Melinda Garcia, also eight months pregnant, was traveling with her husband, teen son and a small family dog from the tiny state of Portuguesa, Venezuela, where she operated a food stall. We don't want to be given money for a house, said Garcia, 39. We just want to work. crossing the U.S.-Mexico border has risen dramatically during Biden's first two years in office. There were more than 2.38 million stops during the year that ended September 30th, the first time the number topped 2 million. The administration has struggled to clamp down on crossings, reluctant to take measures that would resemble those of Trump's administration. Policy changes announced this past week are Biden's biggest move yet to contain illegal border crossings and will turn away tens of thousands of migrants around. At the same time, 30,000 migrants are not from Cuba, Nicaragua, Haiti, and Venezuela will get the chance to come to the U.S. legal and illegal travel by team, their sponsor, and have platform checks.